And now going back to uh, the breaking news this hour, 200 people are reportedly injured with several reported missing on Japan's Sendai Island. Just to remind you, a large tsunami is sweeping through northeastern Japan and this uh, is following an earthquake thought to have been 8.9 on the Richter scale. Just looking at your screens now are pictures from the devastated area of the country's uh, northeast. And it's not just Japan. The first wave has reached Russia's Kuril Islands to the north. There are tsunami warnings in both countries. And in Russia's Kuril Islands, uh, the waves are reportedly about a meter high. Now in Japan, 11,000 people are being evacuated from the area. In northern Japan, the water is surging inland, some 350 kilometers north of Tokyo. Well, we can see from the pictures that there's considerable damage and many casualties, although officials say it is difficult to confirm the numbers um, at this point because of the devastation and because communication lines have been badly affected during the uh, earthquake. You can see this is, uh, these are pictures from the uh, actual quake when it was happening. Now, the uh, lower floors of buildings on Honshu Island uh, reportedly being flooded. There are cars overturned, and it's also being reported that the uh, government is sending troops to the, uh, the uh, quake hit area. And right now, you are looking at live pictures of an oil refinery that's in Ichihara, Chiba, Chiba Prefecture in Japan. But according to the uh, Prime Minister, there have been no damage to nuclear power plants in a quake hit area. That is according to uh, Naoto Kan, who had been speaking to his people but right now you're looking at one of the oil refineries ablaze there's reportedly 14 industrial complexes ablaze in japan because of the earthquake again 8.9 on the richter scale and currently a tsunami hitting the northeast of the coast now the uh, tsunami warning just uh, giving you an update there apparently there are reports that um, there are about 53 countries now with a tsunami warning There are also reports that the uh, country's international airport is closed. Again, the official reports coming out of Japan, they cannot yet uh, put a number on the casualties as well as the damage to infrastructure. But we are seeing the events unfold, the pictures coming in of uh, what's currently happening there. Complexes ablaze right now, an oil refinery. There are 14 industrial complexes ablaze. And still, they are having difficulty reaching quake hit areas, although the government has said they will be sending troops to aid the people who are currently um, stuck in those areas.